Hello again. This is Meth 2270 coming to you from the College of DuPage. And um, here the title of the lecture is Using Picard's Method. Um, and this is a solution to an LSA uh, that I posed for you. As always, please be an attentive learner while watching this video. Now, recall we're talking about um, Picard's theorem, and so again, to provide a little uh, frame in context, we're solving an initial value problem y prime of x is equal to f of xy, y at x0 is equal to y0. Now, Picard's theorem tells us this has a unique solution, one and only one, uh, if we have a neighborhood of the point, or a, a, a rectangle, I guess, about the point of x0, y0, uh, where f of xy, the right-hand side, and the partial of derivative with respect to y of f of xy are both continuous. And then we know that the solution, the unique solution, can be found by um, integrating this differential equation, and we get y of x is equal to y0 plus the integral from x0 to x, this is f of t, y of t dt. Now this does, uh, with the conditions uh, imposed in Picard's theorem, uh, satisfy this because if I take the derivative uh, of this, y prime, the derivative of a constant is 0, and the derivative of the integral just puts uh, x in there, and so that is f of xy. And the initial condition is satisfied also because if I put x0 in, I'm integrating from x0 to x0, which is 0, and so when I plug in uh, x0, I get y0. Now, Picard's proof, uh, which we also discussed, um, is used to generate an approximation uh, that converges to solutions. And so uh, we take um, the first term in the sequence v1 of x to be, um, and this is like a pseudocode kind of thing, but it is uh, y0 plus the integral from um, x0 to x of f of t, and this is our initial guess, v0 of t. And we iterate, according to the recursion, v of v sub n plus 1 of x is y0 plus. I integrate from x0 to x, and I just uh, recursively do this, substituting the previous v n of t uh, in for y of t into the equation. And we saw uh, in the proof I provided for you that this, in fact, uh, does converge to a solution if we have all of Picard's um, conditions in place. Now here is the problem that I posed for you, and I said, okay, consider y prime of x is equal to 3, y of x to the 2 thirds, y of 0 is equal to 2. Now this does not satisfy the conditions of Picard's theorem, because the partial of this side with respect to um, y um, ends up being y, and the exponent is going to be minus 1 third, which uh, near zero uh, is not defined, and so it's not continuous. So this does not satisfy the conditions of Picard's theorem, uh, and it therefore may not have a unique solution. Uh, and uh, it turns, or it may not have solutions at all, I suppose. Uh, but the point of this problem is to say, even though it doesn't satisfy uh, it doesn't have a unique solution by Picard's theorem. In fact, we're going to see it doesn't have a unique solution at all. It has multiple solutions. So anyway, um, here's what you were to do. Uh, I suggested begin with phi 0 of x. This is your initial guess to be 0. And see what happens when you do it. Well, so I take this to be 0. I plug it in. And I get, and, and uh, here y, 0, 0. So I get 0. I'm integrating 0. And that means this is a constant. So phi 1 of x is a constant. But what does the constant have to be? Well, to satisfy the initial value, it has to be 0. I do it again and again and again. But every time I do this, I get 0. It converges to 0. So we did show through that discussion that Picard's method, beginning with phi 0 of x equals 0, does converge to y equaling identically uh, equaling uh, 0. Um, now, if we begin with a different guess, though, and I gave you the suggestion that phi 0 of x uh, is, is going to be our first guess, and show that this converges to this expression, 
and so this is converging to y of x is equal to x minus 2 whole cubed. Now, uh, this does certainly satisfy this, because if I take the derivative of this, I get 3 x minus 2 whole squared. So if I take the derivative of that, I get 3. And if I do the exponent thing, I get uh, that. And if I put y of 2 is equal to 0, I get this. But, so this is a solution. But uh, what I wanted to do was show that Picard's method beginning with this does converge to, in fact, that solution. And now here is an approach, and you had to kind of think through this. You had to say, let's get started. And I, uh, I did tell you what to guess first, but now you are going to uh, work through. And what we're going to see is that in this case, C uh, n times x minus 2 to the r to the n, these are my approximations phi n of x. And we are going to be able to observe that the coefficients converge to 1, and the exponents converge to 3 as n goes to infinity. Okay, so let's proceed with that second case then. Okay, uh, so uh, what we do is um, this, the, uh, the right-hand side again was 3. Um, and, and this um, uh, is um, t minus 2, and that's raised to 2,000, uh, so I'm really integrating x with my initial guess. Now, when I uh, integrate this, I get this is a calculation, and then I take this solution, substitute into Picard's uh, mechanism, do the calculations, and I get this. We do it again, we take this, substitute into part Picard's iteration, and I get this. And I'm going to do it just one more time here, but you take this, substitute it into Picard's mechanism, and you get this. Now that's enough, and you might be saying, wow, that's, uh, that's getting really, really complicated. Well, what's going on? Well, let's analyze what happens to the exponents. So you get 5 over 3, 19 over 9, uh, uh, this number and this number. What's happening with those numbers? They're following a pattern. And what I'm doing uh, each time is I'm taking the previous exponent. In this case, I'm taking uh, the uh, 5 over 3. I'm raising this to 2 thirds power. And then I integrate. And when you integrate, you add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. So you see that's really the pattern there. And there also is similarly a pattern for the, uh, the constants. What happens each time is the previous constant. Here's the 9 over 5. Uh, is being raised to the two-thirds power. And then uh, what you're doing is you're dividing by the new uh, exponent after you integrate. And, um, and so there is a pattern there too. Let's look at those uh, patterns then. And I uh, wrote a little Excel program just to see what happens. So here's the Excel program. And so, uh, so what happens is uh, here uh, I'm estimating the... Um, exponents, and here I'm evaluating the constants to see what happens. Now these are formulas, but you see I just followed the format that I described. When you plug in the numbers, here's what you get. Uh, so this is what's happening with the exponents. And if you look at this, you can say, oh, that is going to 3. And this is what happens with the constants. And the constants are going to 1. And so this is um, really a numerical proof that uh, the, this is, whole thing is converging, albeit somewhat slowly, to uh, x uh, minus uh, 2 whole cubed. In closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself because self-care is important. And take care of each other because we're all in this together. God bless you all. See you in class.